what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about the strangers we'll be talking about long legs and we'll be talking about scream 7 so i'm going to kick this off with the strangers bloody disgusting caught up with producer courtney solomon and director rennie harlan to discuss the strangers trilogy which i'll be reviewing chapter one tomorrow night I have been seeing several hot and cold reactions to this film, so I'm very curious to experience it now. I suspect I'll come somewhere in the middle. Anyway, this is a portion of what Solomon had to say about this trilogy as it pertains to, I guess, the thought process going into it and if Prey at Night played a factor into it. They said, or she said, all we're doing is expanding the Strangers verse. I knew the OG people would go with us on that part of the journey because this is not over until you watch the end of chapter three. If you want to judge this version of the Strangers, you have to go through all the chapters. That's what this is. It's an evolution, both from the point of view of the protagonist and actually being there. If this really happened to you, we go beat by beat or we go beat by painful beat. That's the horror and a little glimpse further into who's behind the mask without them ever giving a speech or us coming up with some dumb explanation. Now, those last few words do give me a little bit of a sigh of relief. I think they are going to be going with the, I think they actually referenced this in the past, the less is more approach. They're not gonna be very hands-on with it or maybe spelling things out to us too much because if you're not gonna have them give a speech or give some dumb explanation, maybe we are going to have a lot of things left up for us to interpret without completely erasing what the strangers was supposed to be. They're supposed to be strangers. We're not supposed to know who they are. But if you have a journey being told to us or a journey playing out in which we're getting a chance to know more about them without it being completely spelled out, that in a way I think should enhance the characters depending on how it comes off on screen. So I'm excited to see chapter one tomorrow night. I do not disagree. I do not agree with this statement that you cannot judge it until you see all the chapters. Obviously, I'm going to judge your first movie. I'm going to judge your second movie. I'm going to judge your third movie. That's just how this works. The next thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Long Legs. So Long Legs full trailer has arrived and it was pretty intense. It was eerie and just enough to get someone interested without providing a lot of context. However, there is some context I will give for this film regarding one person or one character for anyone interested. Keep listening. So Karen and Shipka was spotted in the promo footage recently, and I didn't know she was actually in this film, but apparently she's expected to play this character, Carrie Ann. And Carrie Ann is who I'm aware of. There's stuff I know about Carrie Ann, or at least I have stuff that's been shared with me. So who is Carrie Ann? Because I had no idea that Kiernan would be starring as this character. I'll just recap one of my tweets and give another interesting detail about Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann is rumored to be mentally unstable, a strange man slash visitor sends messages to her. She credits him for having rebuilt her. And she's protecting this person's identity from detectives when they come in to question her. That man undoubtedly has to be Nick Cage's character, who is our killer during this film. Carrie Ann also has like this rocky relationship with her parents, specifically her mother. Her mother apparently didn't like her very much because she made her bleed a lot during birth. Now, that is a very disgusting thing for a mother to hold against their child. You don't like your child because they made you bleed a lot during birth. That's disgusting. If anything, you should. I, I don't even want to go into that. That's just I feel like that's a disgusting thought to have about your child. And Carrie Ann, again, from what I have seen of the character, she definitely seems like she is someone who is not all the way there has a few screws loose and I can't really blame her knowing that detail about her mother allegedly not liking her because she made her bleed a lot during birth. Very selfish behavior if you ask me. I cannot wait for long legs. Everything that's been coming about coming out about this movie has had me anticipating it more and more. They are doing a great job at just showing you enough to get you interested without giving you all the context to the point that you are either on board and determined to go check it out in theaters or you just don't care. But those of you interested are more interested because you don't know what's going on. It's not clear what's happening. You need to go see the movie to be able to understand it. Whereas some trailers today make it where you don't need to see the movie because the trailer just showed you the movie. So shout out to Long Legs for their stellar marketing campaign. Cannot wait to check this movie out in July when it drops. Last thing we're going to talk about here is Scream 7. So this is an update on Melissa Barrera's departure. She said this recently with Latino USA, and it's gotten a few people online in a titsy, I see, or in a frenzy. 
She said, I also like want to clarify that I technically wasn't fired because I hadn't signed my contract because of the strike. So my contract was done, but I hadn't signed it because I couldn't because we were on strike. So technically they didn't fire me. They just dropped me. They were like, oh, bye. Now, see, there's a line in Scream 2 from Joel, I believe, in which he's talking to Gail about her cameraman. And she's like, I made that part up. He wasn't gutted, his throat was slashed. And Joel's like, gutted slash, the guy ain't in the union no more. His point is the fact is the bottom line, you're out. Similar to this, bottom line, Melissa Barrera is not going to be in Scream 7 because Spyglass doesn't want to work with her. So I see people online talking about, oh, well, she could have said this months ago. Yes, yeah, she could have. Did she have to? No. I also see people online thinking that it's her responsibility somehow to dictate what her fans do. You sound delusional. Why should a celebrity come out online and call out their own fans when they themselves are not responsible for how their fans behave? Now, if you are a celebrity who is like sending people after others, like you are actively trying to control your fan base then at that point i would say you should because you're actively participating in your fan base in a very hostile way i've not seen melissa barrera do that i have not seen her send anybody after anyone i've seen people who support melissa barrera just speaking in support of her talking about her on their own accord melissa is not charging them up every day saying hey you know what go out there and do all this stuff in my name they're doing it on their own accord so it's not melissa's responsibility to tell these people how to act at all whatsoever but in respect to what she said these words while appreciated doesn't change the bottom line you're not going to be in the movie spyglass is still in the wrong in my eyes i respect that they again have rights to fire whoever they want to fire drop whoever they want to drop it's their company i can still disagree with it because again from what i saw from her the comments were not what they were making it out to be. They just weren't. You can disagree with it. It doesn't really make a difference to me. Melissa Barrera is not going to be in Scream 7, but she clarified that she never signed a contract. She's saying that the contract was written up. All that happened was that she got dropped, and they were like, oh, bye. It's unfortunate we won't see Sam Carpenter's story play out. And again, I appreciate her words. Doesn't change the bottom line that she won't be back. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.